37 and 23. Amen. Amen. Let's see what the Lord says after that. And it comes out of the New King James and it says, For they shall soon be cut down like grass and wither as green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you, somebody said me. Me. The desires of your heart. I think I like to read verse 5 to commit your ways to the Lord and, and trust in him also, and he shall bring it I got some things I need to pass. Amen. Come on, come on. I got some things I need to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as like I'm feeling good today. I don't know about y'all. And your justice as the noon day. Rest in him and wait patiently. Do not fret because of him who prospers in your way because of the man who brings wickedness schemes to pass. Cease from anger. Oh God, you're Come on, come there. on. Forsake come wrath on. and do not fret if only causes harm. I'm going to drop way down to something I like to say. Uh, Dr. Hardaway, Dr. Hardaway, I'm going to speak to him. Dr. Hardaway, I'm going to say this already. The steps of a good man, woman, and child are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in their ways. Amen. Though, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord uphold him with his hand. And I, I, I'm going to speak to myself. I've been young, and now I'm old. No, I'm not. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants is seed, baby bread. God's word for his people. Amen. 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 Father, we bless you. We give you glory this morning. We lift you up. We exalt you. We call you King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We call you the great I am. We call you Alpha and Omega. We call you Father that sits high and looks whole. We know that. Earth is your footstool and that heaven is your throne. We thank you this morning, God, that you have decided to wake us up and start us on our way. Now, God, that you have injected us this morning, Lord God, and hit us in a place that we can be up, Lord God, and be in your house of worship. Somebody say thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for your grace and your mercy this morning. I thank you for directing and even redirecting our steps this morning, Lord God. As your word reminds us that the steps of a good man, woman, and child are ordered by the Lord. And Lord, we want you to delight in our ways, so Lord, that our ways be pleasing in your sight, God. So we started off by saying, God, we want our hearts and our minds to be conducive to your will and your way, Lord. So we want to set our heart and our mind, Lord God, not on the things of the world, but the things of your world, Lord God. We want to be in a place, Lord God, where we can get, get closer to you, Lord God. So as this house of worship, Lord God, goes forth this, on this day, Lord God, as Dr. Hardaway goes forth and releases a word, Lord God, we believe already in advance it's a word for this house, Lord God, and for this community, and for this reason. So, Lord God, that the atmosphere, Lord God, will, that it will permeate and set this atmosphere, Lord God, on fire, Lord God. Holy Ghost fire that will burn in this place, Lord God. That there will be a renewing of the spirit in this place, God. And then there will be a shifting in this atmosphere, Lord God. And that there will be a newness, a refreshing, a restoration, God. That there will be a in this place like never before. Now, God, we thank you in advance for what's going to transpire. We look forward, Lord God, to the healing which comes for our help, knowing that help comes from you. Now, Father, have your way. We exalt and lift you up. We bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. We give you praise. 
We give you honor. We give you praise. I just thank God myself for the Lord for presence for us. Because I have an expectation of our heart this morning, God. When there's a shift that I've already had an expectation for God, that though my cousin might not be here, though my sister might not be here, though my brother may not be here, though my auntie may not be here, though my uncle may not be here, I'm already looking for healing to take place, God. I'm already looking for deliverance to take place, God. I'm already looking, God, already looking for them, Lord God, to find their way to you. In the name of the great King, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. There's a light in this society you need, you need to let shine. Amen? Amen. 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 But I see that Dr. Hardaway has entered the building. Amen. Amen. Thank you.
to the honor of all that it goes forth to do the ministry that you have set forth for. We thank you for the givers, Lord God, and those, Lord God, that have set their hearts upon giving. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 At, at this time, I'm going to uh, I want to pray. I want to pray. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I want to pray. I'm going to end a prayer. Amen. We are moving expeditiously today. Amen. 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 If I can, can get, wow, I see that we are. Y'all going to be home before Domino's Pizza comes. Amen. Absolutely. Domino's. Domino's. Wow, God, and you shall laugh, my God. I was wondering, man, I was wondering if I was amongst friends or something. I thought I did something to somebody or something. You know what I mean? I didn't know. I didn't mean, I, I, Listen, I, I'm trying to be the Lord. The Bible says, if you want to be friends, have friends. So you're so friendly. I believe I showed myself friendly. Ain't that right, me? See, you said it. Nia said, I'm not friend, I'm alright with this Nia, I'm friends with Nia. <laughs> hey, man, listen. With all that's going on in the world, we know that we just seen this thing um, with this wildfire. Is it alright if I take a minute? This wildfire. Now, my, I have family that actually lives in the uh, New York, New Jersey region, and my sister uh, kept in constant contact with me. And um, she kept talking to me back and forth, and the air quality had got so bad there. And I thank God for the shift. And then they're still talking about what may happen. But I know a God that can change what he has to do. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I know a God that can step on what somebody else says. Yes. And cause it to shift. So right now, God, we come to you, Lord God, and we exalt and lift you up, God, and we know, Lord God, that your word reminds us that there will be wars and rules of wars and diverse situations and all these things going on, Lord God, and we know <clears throat> that you are as yet now soon coming Messiah, but we thank you. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, and we thank you for the shift. And how this thing has uh, went some other direction, Lord, and how it has subsided, God. And they say, we know what they say means nothing compared to what you say. And we know what you say is the final word, God. And we know that, God, there are some situations that are going on with families that are still going through a bereavement, God. And we ask that you would touch the hearts and the minds, God, and that you would just soothe the hearts, Lord God, and that as you soothe the hearts and you get to the place, Lord God, where there still feels the heaviness, Lord God, that you would, Lord God, hide them in the hollow of your hand, Lord God, and that you would strengthen and lift them up, Lord God, and that in that secret place, Lord God, where some of us don't choose to talk about, Lord God, we tend to just close off, Lord God, we need you, Lord, independently, Lord God, and collectively, Lord God, to be our comforter, Lord God, because your word reminds us that you are the comforter, Lord God. So as you are a comforter and you promise us, promise us one, Lord God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy as <clears throat> you are, Lord God, a consuming fire, Lord God, and yet now we are not consumed, Lord God, but we thank you, Lord God, that you are continuously, Lord God, watching over keeping us, Lord God, in perfect peace, Lord God. So we seek to keep our minds in you, Lord God, and we ask that you continue to give us, Lord God, the peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord God. We lift up all the families, Lord God, in this house of worship, Lord God, and I know if I start calling the Hardaways and the Owens and the, the Fagans and the Joneses and the, and the all the different the tailors and all the different families, Lord God. I pray that I have not missed any, Lord God, but you would strengthen the families, Lord God, and that those, Lord God, that even 
the past off, Lord, and we Lord God, that you would strip in our past, Lord God, and that you would strip in their heart away as she has the responsibility. times when he needs, Lord God, her, Lord God, and to be her, her, his help me, Lord God, we ask you to strengthen her, Lord God, and that as all those, Lord God, the need went on to be before you, Lord God, we will been absent from the body to be present with you, Lord God, is what the ultimate goal is. Let it be a move. He got it. Not the natural, but the spiritual. Unplugged. Yes. Let the word go forth for richness.
Jesus is mine.
It's him. Thank you, Lord. The day day long. Long. Yes. How many are going to bless the Lord Thank on you. today? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall yes. rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for what has already transpired in the service. We thank God for Pastor Jones for his obedience in carrying on the service. Amen. Amen. members and friends of Trinity Baptist Church, praise the Lord. And to those who are watching, praise the Lord. Always honoring my husband and pastor, the Reverend Dr. Jane Amen. Amen. For the privilege to stand today. We thank God that he is moving forward, getting yes. better. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank God for that. Can we put Chapter 16, verses 1 through 13. That's in the Old Testament. 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verses 1 through 13. Always grateful for the name. Verses 1 through 13. When you have it, say amen. Amen. Five people. We're looking at the contents. Amen. Amen. <laughs> The word of the Lord says, the Lord said to Samuel, how long will you mourn for Saul since I have rejected him as king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. Come on, come I am on. sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. Come on. The Lord said, take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what to do. You are to anoint trembled when they met him. They asked, do you come in peace? Samuel replied, yes, in peace I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab and thought, surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height. For I have rejected him also. Come on. The Lord does not look at things that people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord is looking at the heart. Come on. Amen. Then Jesse called Abinadab and had him pass in front of Samuel. But Samuel said, the Lord has not chosen you either. Right. Jesse then had Shammah pass by. Samuel said again, nor has the Lord chosen you. Jesse had seven of his sons pass by before Samuel. But Samuel said to him, the Lord has not chosen thee. So he asked Jesse, listen, Jesse, are these all your boys? Come there on. was still the youngest, Jesse answered. He is tending the sheep. Samuel said, go and get him. Yes. Sit for him. I'm not going to sit down until he arrives. Yes. So he sent for him and had him brought in. He was glowing. Yes, he was yes. and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, Rise up and anoint him because this is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers in front of his family. And from that day, the Spirit of the Lord came so powerfully upon David, and Samuel went so wrong. Yes, the word yes. of the Lord is already blessed. You may be seated in the presence ah. of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo. This is my moment. This is my moment. Ah. This yes. is my moment. 
This is my moment. Yes. This is my moment. If you believe it's your moment, come on. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I know we spread out the hearts and look at your auntie and say, Auntie, this is my moment. This is my moment. You ain't look at it. Look at her eyeball to eyeball and say, Auntie, this is my moment. This is my moment. Well, sister. Father, we thank you for the preach word in this time. Father, I pray that you would anoint me, your vessel, your servant, God, to declare what you had given me. Be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and redeemer. Not only do I need you to anoint me, O oh God, but I need you to cover me with the blood of Jesus. But that it is all you. You get the glory out of the preacher word. You get the glory out of this oh God. I pray, oh God, that the word will fall on good ground, oh God. That I have made Saul king. Because he has turned away from me and has not carried out my instructions. Come on. Samuel was angry and he cried out to the Lord all night. And he told Samuel, I regret that I've made this man a king. Yet all night, tossing and turning. Yeah. They also 
also wanted him as king because other nations had a king. So they didn't want God to be their king. They wanted a human to be their king. They wanted to lay eyes on a king, not somebody that they did not see, not the one who provided manna from heaven, not the one who provided rain, not the one who provided the sun, not the king of kings. Saul's leadership skills, yet they cried, God send us a king, send us somebody who can lead us. Come on, come on. Saul was not even ready to be king. Saul was not ready to face the assignment that he was called to. Again. The answer is right in front of your face, uh -huh. but because it doesn't fit your frame of okay. thought. I know that I'm young, but I'm a worshiper. I'm a 
Come on, come on. Well, I 
question it. They will not look to other people and ask them what they think. But they will know that this is their moment and their moment alone. Yes. Yes. So I thank you, oh God, for what our eyes have not. The doors of the church are open. Maybe somebody, maybe somebody wants to give their life to Christ. You can also give by give the fact. You can also drop it on the It is sure enough given time. Wanna try God? Try God. Try God. He can give it back to you. Good measure. Press it down. Shake it out. Shake it out. Run it over. He's got that. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Joy bells ring in my soul. Joy Oh, who's making it? Let us 
Amen. Y'all get up. That's hard me. Amen. We are just in time. It's 1215. Amen. Amen. You are the reason why we are here. So, uh, Father, I pray that you would.